got my contacts in and my brows blocked out, drag queen style. And I started out with covering the top half of my face with green face paint and a bright pink blush by Made by Mitchell. And I'm going to blend that in with a makeup sponge and I'm going back and forth between the green and the pink until I've achieved a blend that I'm satisfied with. I'm going to set that blush with a translucent setting powder to make sure that the base and everything doesn't move while I apply other products. After that, I'm going to use this hot pink eyeshadow by Sugar Pill and I'm going to apply that on top of that blush and a tiny bit of white to lighten that up just to reinforce the intensity of that color. Next up, I'm taking a mixture of these two matte eyeshadows and I'm going to sketch out my cut crease. I'm also going to take a tiny bit of purple and apply that on top and blend it in. And then to give myself a, I guess, brow bone highlight, I'm using a matte white eyeshadow. Then with this bright UV eyeliner, I made these squiggly lines that I added to the makeup as well. I forgot to film that part, so I'm demonstrating it here. I'm so sorry. After I covered the rest of my face with that green face paint, I created this kind of half C shape with that dark green eyeshadow mixture. And I'm lightening that or creating a gradient with a matte white eyeshadow. With this lavender base, I'm basically cleaning up the shape, making it crisp, making it clear. And then I'm taking Sugar Pill's Ghosted Loose Eyeshadow and I'm applying that on top, kind of as a highlight. Now I'm taking that blush again and applying that on my cheek and near my nose and then I'm blending that out with a makeup sponge. On the center of my cheek, I'm also applying a little bit of matte white eyeshadow. Then I'm taking a white face paint and a spatter brush and I'm going to speckle that all over my face. Now I'm taking that dark green eyeshadow again and I'm basically finishing up the eye look, connecting it to the rest of my cheek and finishing that up with Sugar Pill's Lumi Loose Eyeshadow. Now I didn't press play when I was filming the lip part, so I'm redoing it here for you all. I used that same matte green eyeshadow to sketch out kind of a pouty little lip. And then I'm taking a purple um, eyeshadow as well, and I'm applying that in the center. And then I'm taking Fenty Beauty's Riri Gloss Balm, and I applied that on top. I know it looks silly, but I couldn't skip this part because, you know, it wouldn't be a finished tutorial. Anyway, that is it for my look. Look at this. This is so cool with the UV light. Oh my goodness. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it was helpful. All the products are listed below in the information section or comment section. And uh, yeah, another Halloween look done. <laughs> Thank you all so, so much for watching and until the next one.